Hi guys, it's Lindsay here. Today we're doing an unfold class that will just be 10 to 15 minutes long. And today we're going to be doing some mobilizing and some releasing through your hips, okay? So all you're gonna need for today is a lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, a baseball, um, anything around this size that is at least relatively hard and is not gonna break under the weight of your body. Okay, I've also got a pillow that you might need either for your head when we lay down or for this first portion just for some uh, assistance to stabilize. Even if you don't have a ball, I would try to do this first set of stuff that we're going to do um, because you will find it beneficial. Okay, so pause me if you need to quickly grab your equipment for today's quick session and we'll get started. I'm going to back up here slightly. We are going to start by doing a drill that activates those hips and... This one hurts a little bit, but it is really good. Okay, so what you're going to do is bring your left leg out front, and what this is called is 90, 90, 90. So we're trying to form a 90 degree angle uh, between the lower leg and upper leg, okay? A 90 degree angle here, and then a 90 degree angle with your back leg, okay? So if you have a very hard time getting to this position, um, this is where you're gonna use your pillow and pop it under your hip under your left hip and it's going to help you to be upright okay this is not cheating if you need it please take it it will benefit you in getting through this drill um, and if you don't need it if you have no problem sitting upright in this position without assistance then that's great too just do a quick check and make sure you actually are forming the 90 90 90 i get a lot of people wanting to kind of do um, this which is not the same okay so 90 degree angles one, two, three. Okay, so if this is very tough for you, you might just end up sitting here and breathing. We wanna make sure we keep the spine long, the chest lifted, and then always the core engaged. Okay, so from here, you're gonna use your hands. You're gonna walk forward over your front leg. Again, spine long. Okay, and then you're gonna push hard with this front leg into the ground. And then you're going to slowly, if you can, take the weight off your hands or maybe entirely um, put, pick them up off the floor. Okay, you're going to breathe there. You're going to keep pushing into that bottom leg and slowly sit yourself back up. Okay, from that position, you want to stay upright. Keep your back knee on the ground and we're going to lift that back heel off the floor. Okay, so... If you cramp a little bit like I just did, just reset, okay? But ideally, if you can get it off the ground, you're gonna keep it there. If you need assistance from this hand here, you can take it, but it is cheating to some degree, okay? So if it's your first time, take the help, okay? If you don't need your hands at all here, you're not gonna use your hands, okay? And then you're slowly gonna drop that back heel down, okay? So that's how we're gonna activate the glutes to start. We're gonna do five rounds of that per side. So again, if you cramp, just come out of it, stretch it out, and then join back in. I promise if you do this a few more times in the coming days, you won't cramp anymore, okay? So let's take our second round together. Let's walk forward over our front leg. Keep the spine long, push into this leg hard into the ground, and then try to take those hands away. Keep pushing, slowly sit up. Keep your upright posture. We're gonna take that back heel and lift it off the ground. A little bit more. And then control it back to the floor. So even if you're not actually lifting, you're just thinking about lifting, um, you're still gonna get that activation from your back hip and glute, okay? Walk forward over that front leg. Push into your um, front leg and then take the hands away. Keep pushing into that front leg. We're slowly sitting up. Remain that upright posture. Take that back heel with the knee on the floor. Lift it off the ground. Good. Slowly control it back. Reset. We're going to go for two more if you can. Stay with me. Walk forward. Push into the ground. Take the hands away. Remember that we're breathing. And then slowly keep pushing as we sit back up. Good, take that back heel, lift it. And slowly drop it down, guys. One more per side, here we go, walk forward. Pushing to the ground, release those hands. 
keep pushing, sit up. Stay upright, take that back heel. We're lifting off the floor. Good. Oh, slowly drop it. And then we're going to open up with the wide, uh, wide stance between the feet. And then we're just gonna windshield wipe those knees towards the ground, okay? That should feel really nice on those hips. All right, and then I want you to reset, do whatever you need to do to get set up for the other side. So even if you didn't have a pillow, I would have it nearby just in case you need it on this side. Sometimes we're a little bit different. Okay, so we're setting ourselves up again, opposite side, so right leg is now forward, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and 90 degrees, okay? So look and make sure this is 90. Sometimes we wanna cheat a little bit on that one. Okay, and then toes are flexed in towards the shins. If you cannot sit up right here, um, get that pillow or whatever you have nearby and pop up your right hip, okay? All right, when you're ready, join me here, guys. We're gonna walk forward over that front leg. We're gonna take this leg, we're gonna push it hard into the ground. Keep pushing as we take those hands, take the weight away, and we hold there while we breathe. Keep pushing as we sit ourselves up. Okay, and then keep this back knee on the ground. We're gonna lift that back heel. Okay, if you cramp, just reset. <laughs> Ease back in and join us as you can. Drop that back heel with control. Reset, walk forward, round two. Push into the ground, take those hands away. Keep pushing, sit yourself up. Good, take that back, or sorry, back knees on the ground, back heel, lift it up. And we're still breathing as we slowly put that heel on the floor. Reset, round three, walk forward. Good stuff. Push into the ground, take those hands away. Spine long, we slowly sit back up. Keep that upright posture, back heel, lifts. Good. Can you go a little higher? And then control it down. we got two more rounds. Slowly walk forward. Push into the mat. Take those hands away. Long spine as we sit back up. Okay, take that back heel, lift it. So we can do this. If you were to like lift this, you can get pretty high with that back leg but we need to be able to connect our brain with those muscles to do it without the assistance of a hand. Okay, drop it down. Okay, one more round, walk forward. Push into the ground, take those hands away. Slowly work back up, sit up tall. For the last time, take that back heel, lift it. So if you're really struggling with this, I would challenge you to try this one every day for the next week and see if you get better. I pretty much guarantee you will. Okay, drop that back heel down. We're gonna open up here, keep your feet wide. We're gonna windshield wipe side to side. Okay, so that was most of the work. We're gonna spend the last few minutes just taking a bit of a roll through the hips and through the glutes. And this is where you're going to use the ball that you have, okay? so. When I've done this one in class, we sometimes spend a lot of time, sometimes half an hour, working through the glute uh, hip region, but today we're just gonna spend about five minutes and um, just get a bit of a dose and get, give you guys an idea of how you can use the ball at home. Okay, so what we're going to do is start by working through the top of the glute. So if you feel down your back in the low back, you'll feel those two bones um, just above your sacrum. Okay, we're gonna start just below that on the right hand side, and we're just gonna do some slow movement on our backs, and we're gonna roll that hip out. Sorry, roll the hip, roll the ball out to the side towards your hip. Okay, so if you want a pillow, you can use it for your head. I'm just gonna have it so I can see you guys on my screen. Lift your hips up. So we're setting the ball down on the high part of our glutes, okay? So we're just outside the sacrum, and from there, we're just gonna slowly start rolling the ball out to the side, okay? So, 
Lots of different things you can do here. Today, we're just gonna do a continuously active move. Out to the side, towards your hip, and then roll that ball back in. Okay, and I just want you to note where you're feeling this. Okay, for me, I start to feel it a lot more as I get closer out to the hip. And so what I might start to do as I get out there is do some holding points where I find a, a sore spot. I stop there and then I'm going to breathe into the ball. Okay, so as I inhale, I'm gonna push into the ball. And as I exhale, I'm going to relax onto the ball. I'm gonna do that a couple of times and then I'm going to move on to a new spot, okay? So a little bit of free time here in this part of the glutes. And again, when you find those spots that are feeling extra tight, you wanna stop and you wanna breathe into that spot a couple of times and you should notice a bit of a difference, okay? So let's spend a couple more breaths here. And like I said, as always, if you need some more time, definitely pause me and then just join up with us when you're ready to move on. When you're ready, we're gonna lift up your hips. You're gonna take the ball and now you're going to put it into the bull's eye of your glute. So right in the middle of your glute, okay? And then you're just going to have to roll yourself a little bit over to the side so we get a bit of weight on the ball. And then same thing, you're going to move from that center point out towards your hip. Okay, and then just moving slow and steady. Those first couple times, just noticing what you feel and where you feel it. Okay, and then again, we'll have a little bit of free time here to explore, find those tight areas, stop right on top of them, then breathe into the ball, pushing as you inhale, and then relaxing as you exhale. Okay, you might do that again. Okay, and then you're gonna move on and find a new spot. So with this, guys, you really could spend quite a bit of time back here. This is another one that you can do relatively easily um, when you're watching TV at the end of the night or for a few minutes before work or maybe just for a few minutes on a work break. And it's really not a lot of effort, although it might be a little bit painful, okay? All right, we are gonna switch over to the other side. Um, again, take more time here if you need it or come back later. Okay, we're going to the other side. We're gonna go into the top part of that glute and you're slowly, with pressure, rolling that ball out towards your hip, okay? Really with this, you can't go wrong um, unless you're once we get into the center part of the glute, if you're feeling any kind of like really shooting nerve response, that's when you might wanna back off. Um, but other than that, you really can go wherever you want with this, depending how you're feeling and where you're feeling it. Okay, so we've kind of explored the area. Now we're gonna move to trying to find a couple of spots that we feel like are tighter than the rest. We're gonna hold we're gonna breathe into the ball, full breaths with a push. And then a nice release into the ball as you exhale. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to do that on your own here. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the middle part of the glute. Guys, if you need some more time here, as always, pause me, catch up when you can. I'll come back to this later. Okay, lift those glutes up. We're gonna put the ball now into the center. Okay, and then now you're gonna move your body a little bit closer to that side so that we can get some pressure on the ball. And we're gonna start rolling that ball out to the side. Okay, so 
Staying in control, always moving slowly. So essentially we are massaging our own glutes. Okay, it's nice because you can focus on the areas that you feel that you need and then you're also controlling the pressure. All right, so we've explored a couple of times left to right there. And now we start doing some of those holds. So if you've ever dealt with uh, sciatic pain or issues with your piriformis, uh, this is a good one to do to help with that. Um, if you have dealt with anything with your sciatic nerve, just be careful here that you're again not feeling the shooting pain like, um, like you were hitting a nerve because we don't want to make it worse. But if we can loosen up some stuff in there, uh, sometimes it'll, it'll make it better, okay? Okay, so we're holding on a few different points. We're breathing into the ball. Good. All right. So I'm moving on. Guys, feel free to hang out here as long as you need. 